little susceptible to the. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh I Dur forgot. Baccio, like, he loves this hero. He does love this hero. What is he's get Topu there. He's got a fairy fire. Might actually be okay. No. He's well, I mean, they're having to kind of commit for the kill onto the sun charges and a healing lotus. Okay, he's baiting him. I mean, uh, and it looks like Ace has fallen for the bait. <laughs> he becomes in from Schofield, and indeed, the bait's a success. Tofu, tough kill bottom. He's get, they're going to try and go in onto Dark Margo. Back up. The back up. That should do it. Tofu will die, but with a relocate in, they'll take out Dark Margo, and they can chase down Stinger as well. Pop the stick charges, but enough manners there from Quinn. Up to top. Up the kills. They, they try. Edict since he's playing versus TA. Parker actually steps up a bit far. He could just be dead in the mid lane. They get the stun. They're going to be able to run him down. TPs are coming in. Is it going to be soon enough to do anything to turn this? It's not. Parker's gone. So much damage. I mean, the Edict right there coming into play. Shreds him in seconds and immediately fill up. And they continue the roll. The, the classic game in Gladiators. Lesh, Io looking to, to be off yes. for a hot start. Even Dorachi. I think he just brought the creep around to the mid lane. Pops out. Fine. Comes to an end. I mean, Quinn and Tofu and Celery, they're thinking about chasing them. They'll get the Lightning Storm collection. Tofu, he's not quite able to close the gap with the blast off. We'll be able to throw a mine down the way of Stinger. Pulverize comes out onto Tofu. He'll get punished for that. Bloodstone's cooldown. Can they get Quinn? As they're going to try their best to burst through, and they've pretty much got the whole team here trying to take down this Lesh. They're bringing Quinn like they, they got him. get it. As Quinn oversteps the mark and gets punished by Beast Coast. They are heavily overstepped. I mean, a super aggressive move just to kind of go for a silencer there. And they might be able to get another kill here on the reload. See if he's going to be able to tether across Celery. It's there. The right clicks is off the hit. Nice. He's yeah, able to save as well with the infest. Celery will live. That TA, of course, you can itemize afterwards with disassembles and stuff. is sacred. See if we can get away from this. I mean, he's got the backup. Dracho is going to try and jump into the reload. Get out, but there's more numbers coming in. Before it's getting cancelled. Global Science is there. Sacred will go for the TP up, but then he realizes he's got the numbers. He's got the backup. They can try and take this fire. Look towards Ace. Ace gets the wall down. Sacred able to charge away with the onslaught. Here comes Quinn. Healing Duracho up. They're in on top of the timber saw with Quinn coming in from the side. Dark Margo's gone. Stun's going to be off the mark onto Schofield. So Schofield's able to toss back Quinn and will manage to TP out there to safety. Give me once more. They're diving. They're diving beyond the tier one tower. They're on top of Parker. Parker's just to be watched by Sacred and Stinger as those two can do nothing to keep gaming gladiators oh. off the TA. And it's a wisdom rune. Oh no, Beast Coast. <laughs> it's around this timing. Duracho, he'll be able to just snag that one up. They get both here. Does have a TP? It's all depending on if Tobo's able to keep up with him. It looks like the, the damage of Duracho is a bit too much to just try for a TP out here from Schofield. He's gonna try, but I think the damage should be enough. It is. Can get back on with the push scope field. They've got Edict up in three. He's gonna go in. He's on the HP, but he tries for the toss back on the celery. He dies for that one. A risky move from scope field goes punished. So much heal. And top ace. Chasing Sacred out here a little bit. He might be able to. Gonna be close. Parker with a DD. Big toss back plays needed, but Duracho, he's already on them. Managed to hold him back with the Avalanche. Dracho tries to continue to chase. He's going to have back up from Celery and Quinn with the relocate. They, they were thinking about diving the tier two, but the mass TP is coming from Beast Coast. They get the toss combo. Nice direction. They get the pulverizers round. Well. Duracho's dead. Sacred. Holy moly. I mean, that was a huge charge. Let's see if they can do anything more here. He's also been able to finish off the, the BKB despite dying there, Sacred. So next fight, he's going to feel pretty, pretty. They'll be the ones to just get that roast really quick. So denying that away from the TA as well. Nice try. I mean, see, I looked like Skullfield is going to attempt for a sneak. Got to make sure they get those on these posts. Oh, they actually catch him. They found him. Wounds, how much it does heal. Killing Quinn's going to be a real big problem. They're going to try. They try the toss back. Ooh, they bring him down pretty low, but not enough. And Sacred will charge in, looking to get on top of Celery. Global. Global as well. They'll take Celery out. Okay. And they... They're cutting off Dark Mago. I don't know if he's got any way out of this one. No TP. Vacuum. Uh, Stun won't be quite there initially, but they're still dancing around him. He's, he's got a 
little bit of protection with the Axe. Gaming Gladiators, they do look to respect that. They know now, actually, that the team is <laughs> coming in. And Dark Market turns and blows up Celery. Big damage. Toss forward here. They're going for more. The toss into the Pulverize. Sacred's able to get the catch on the way. Say, Another kill. Taken down. On and more Quinn? For Sacred. They're on top of Quinn. Quinn's in trouble. He's out the one. They're going to have to buy back here. Beast Coast finding an opportunity. Yeah, buyback relocate coming in from Celery, ready to tear the back across towards Quinn. They'll see if they can catch Sacred. He's got no TP. He's got Onslaught again in a second, so if they want to chase him... Oh, hey, they're able to catch him. Sacred. Be scared. I mean, Schofield might just show himself and die instantly. He sees them, but he gets caught. Yeah, he, he's going down, and with, with him getting caught, That's East Coast right. probably won't try and do anything about this Roshan. They'll have to, they'll have to let this go. They don't have the... Aegis now, cheese as well. That could allow Gaming to really press the envelope here. Getting that extra bit of healing and survivability for Quinn to just run through. It's also hit level 18. Ahead. Quinn. will reveal it. But uh, he's around as he clears out the creep wave. We'll see if Beast Coast had eyes on that. Got the Hex. Got to find Sacred. Uh, Sacred. He's going to get shoved to the side there. Parker. Parker with a nice hurricane pipe play there, breaking Sacred away from potential follow-up stuns. But he has to use his BKB. I mean, look at Duraccio try to chase forward here. <laughs> As we get, said, a very Duraccio play. He gets tossed back. Into the avalanche, pulverize as well. The wall's going to be dropped down as well as the three-man vacuum and turn. It's Duraccio, he'll go down the once. But he does start off a fight where Gaming Gladiators, they're able to get both the silencer and the tiny. What a Duraccio play. <laughs> I mean, he's like, I just want to start the fight. I mean, that's team. why that's why they give that man the H. Sure do. Yeah, he's the fight starter. He goes in, he gets caught, it works out. And yeah. it's tough, tough for Parker. He had to use that BKB completely defensively. So for him fighting in this, it's pretty impossible. If he steps up, gets hexed, he could just instantly die. Identification, but yeah, no Tiny. They, they need this Tiny for the toss backs. They need Schofield. Sacred, he's going to try and get in there. They jump forward. They're looking to burst through Quinn. They cannot do so. Quinn's getting healed up. Not and that's going to be Sacred out for a minute. No buyback available on him. Jump forward from Tofu with the blast off over towards Dark Margo. They've taken Stinger down as well. It's dieback. He's out for a minute. The space is there for Gaming Gladiators to take the mid racks. Parker continues to get zoned away. 20 seconds until BKB and gaming, they got what they came for. I think they maybe reset and go back in. Yeah, they're, they're fake backing. Yeah, yeah, they're, back. they're ready to go once more, surely. Blink vacuum. Ace is watching. Does, I mean, they might just have to settle for Skullfield, but he wants the big target. He wants Parker. He's and he finds to jump in and get the vacuum. Dracho's in as well. They're in on top of the TA. They'll put the BKB on Parker, but gaming gladiators will chase him down. He's out for 85. And of course, with the way that he's spent up, he has no luxury of buyback. And they can just go for tier 4 here. They have the AC. Creeps are coming in. I mean, Schofield will buy back to deter them, but yeah, he's dead for such a long time, and that's all their damage. That's no TA. No TA for over a minute. Duraccio gets his Basher sent out to him on top of the AC. At least a second set of racks. They do still have a tier 2 top Beast Coast, so Mega Creeps won't be an, uh, an available option quite yet. Uh, but the game, on the other hand, it may just well be with these kills that Gaming Gladiators has continually catch as Schofield is caught over in the mid as Quint heads over with the TP. They're bringing in a second wave. Duracho might be saying just hit the tier 4, screw top. I mean, they've got still such a long time where it's just down to the three heroes of Beast Coast to try and hold back the full lineup of Gaming Gladiators. Back Ace, one, two. he's got the catch. There's the follow-up Hex. They're in on a Stinger. Stinger's out as well for good. As Gaming Gladiators, they're going to get even more. Jump forward with the blast off over towards Darmago, who get off the shield with the Aghanims, but he'll get destroyed by the overwhelming damage of Gaming Gladiators. There's only Sacred left as he's bullied back to the fountain. The tier fours will fall. There's 15 seconds, and they will have Parker back up. We'll see if he gets a chance to show his face once more in this game, but it looks like the towers, the Ancient, they're going down too quickly. The tier fours are gone. Ancient exposed. Five seconds until he's back, and it's five seconds too long. GG is called as Gaming Gladiators take game three. And with that, this best of three, it's theirs. They come in and they're like, all right, you got us the once. We're going to do our IO Lesh. And they make it look great. They really did. The, finishing up the draft with the Life Stealer, Duracho, he just stands his own versus top and a clean, methodical game overall from Gaming Gladiators. Beast Coast, the whole game just trying to like recover things, trying to find this way to get Parker back online. but. It really was the lanes for me, everything, how well they did, how many denies they were able to get across the board, and yeah, when they enabled it perfectly. Yeah, it felt like they were they were well and truly warmed up by this Game 3 Gaming Gladiators, and, and that Game 1 seeming like nothing more than a distant memory. It, it really feels like overall with the way that the series played off, the, the big factor in that Game 1 was very much the Meepo pick, gripping <laughs> Gaming.
Anybody out there, yeah, man.